There are things that men can do um, after diagnosis to uh, lower chances of progression or death from prostate cancer. So I spoke on um, various dietary factors and exercise that could lower one's risk. I would definitely recommend that men exercise. Um, at least three or more hours a week of vigorous activity seems to be beneficial. Um, men who do that have about a 61% lower risk of prostate cancer death. Um, so that would be the first thing that I would recommend. Also maintaining, achieving and maintaining a healthy body weight, uh, eating lots of fatty fish, um, eating cruciferous vegetables such as cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts seems to be good. Um, also eating healthy sources of vegetable fat like nuts and olive oil and oil-based dressings also helps. Um, and then I would recommend that men avoid high fat dairy products such as whole milk if they can, um, as well as avoiding processed meat since those things seem to be harmful for progression of prostate cancer. So a lot of the data is based on observational research. Um, they were not done in a, in a formal clinical trial. Um, most of the studies took place at, uh, through the health professionals follow-up study based at Harvard or through the CAPTURE study, which is a large uh, registry study based at UCSF. Um, and so those are where most of the data are coming from at this point. Um, but we are planning and executing various uh, exercise trials now in patients. Um, we have one in men who are on active surveillance who choose not to be treated. Um, we're going to be looking at the biology pre and post intervention after a four month supervised exercise program to see if exercise changes the biology of the tumor. Um, we also have a comprehensive lifestyle uh, randomized controlled trial going on right now at UCSF called Prostate 8. And I can't share what those eight factors are, but they are based on diet, not smoking, um, and, and exercise. We have specific recommendations for uh, men to improve their risk of progression or lower the risk of progression really. Um, so yeah, so those are ongoing. Um, we are also funded through the National Institutes of Health to um, do a supervised program in men who have advanced prostate cancer. Um, and so that's a pilot study that we are hoping to get off the ground shortly. Um, and then I'm also involved in a larger program um, called GAP4, and that's funded by Movember. Um, and that will enroll 866 men with advanced prostate cancer. Um, and we're gonna be looking at the outcome of overall survival. Um, and so we're trying to enroll men at about 20 to 25 sites across the globe. Um, and hopefully the, we will see um, that men who exercise reduce their overall death rate. First of all, I would say that men who have prostate cancer, there are, it, there are multiple things that you can do after diagnosis. Um, so it's one of the most common cancers in men. Um, many men will get it in their lifetime um, because of PSA screening. So most men will be screened for uh, prostate cancer and be diagnosed at a very localized stage. And so knowing that and knowing you'll probably live long with prostate cancer, it's good to um, have things that you can do. Um, and so I encourage any man who has prostate cancer to eat healthy, um, to exercise and not smoke.